Hello, I'm Jeff Brooks with this Civics Minute for March 1st. March is Women's History Month, during which we devote additional time to recognizing the history and contributions to America made by the nation's women. Beginning in the early 20th century, March 8th was celebrated by various labor and suffragette organizations as International Women's Day. The details of why March 8th were chosen are not quite clear. For a long time, International Women's Day was considered a socialist celebration, but in the 1960s it was adopted by American feminists. Beginning in 1982, Congress passed resolutions requesting that the President designate a week in March as Women's History Week, with no mention of the commemoration's socialist origins. Five years later, they became more ambitious and began requesting the President designate the entire month of March as Women's History Month. The idea was that it could elevate the importance of teaching women's history in the same manner that Black History Month elevated the importance of teaching African American history. Finally, in 1995, President Bill Clinton signed the proclamation, declaring March to be Women's History Month. Every president since has issued a similar proclamation annually, and the commemoration has become an accepted part of American education. Many Civics Minutes this month will deal specifically with women's history. That's today's Civics Minute. Stout hearts, everyone.